I got another project. So, this is our cockpit. <clears throat> We've been having a water issue, leaking. And then we've got two cockpit drains to drain the water out of the cockpit because it's completely enclosed. And the problem was, like right here, somebody used a through hole. And so it's actually almost 5 16 higher than the floor and the water doesn't drain out. There's always water standing here. And um, I don't know if that was original from the factory or as an add-on but the one on the uh, port side somebody cut this flange off the top to allow the water to drain out and it drained between the hull and the sole and leaked into our uh, port berth so I, I have cut it out and there's actually a quarter inch fiberglass on the bottom and the top and I have filled that hole the void with 5200 I also have purchased actual cockpit drains that are tapered to fit in the hole. But as you can see, on the side they set up a quarter inch. And what I've got to do is bevel, bevel my fiberglass sole so that this will drop in it. And then I can 5200 in it. It'll be flush with the the bottom of this drain and uh, it'll allow the water to go out so we've been fighting that problem uh, since we've had the boat we didn't know water was getting between the two um, fiberglass between the you know the sole and the uh, the hole and uh, we've always had an issue on our port side with water well, we finally found it so um, I dropped this in I have traced me a line around the outside edge of it and I'm going to slowly bevel this fiberglass until this until this lift sits flush. Let's see what I can do. Getting there, so we'll continue to grind this out on a bevel until we get that to set flush. All right, so got that beveled. Thank you, man. Got that bevel like the bottom of a, but I also have the gap. You can see the 5200, the white line right there. I've got that void filled with 5200 before and let it cure. So I'm gonna take a sanding block and sand this a little smoother, a little rounder. But it's got my drain sitting flush. I'll get that done and uh, get started on here. Starboard side. Let me cut that one out and I'll show you how I get it out. Alright guys, so, you know, I said before this is a through hole somebody put in. It's not a it's 
not an actual uh, cockpit drain. And I put this bit, it's a little saw bit on my Dremel. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside there and cut a ring all the way around and see if I can pop the top half off. tail piece out. Side. I just got to clean them up. Clean them up. 5200 in them. I know I should have used 4200, but uh, I'm not taking them back out again. I'm pushing this in with my finger so that I get a good bond on it. And I know that it's sticking. Adhering. Easy way to do it, but so anyway, there is a there I am right there. I still got a gap in there with some 5200, and then I'll put my lock down there. So I'm gonna get my sealant. Let's see what I can do. I got no way to hold up my uh, GoPro, so I'm gonna have to do this without you guys. I'll show you the end result though. All right, so you can see, put some sealing all the way around in that void. <laughs> and I put some on the back of this, of the nut. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. I'm gonna do the other side. I'll clean that up and call it a day. All right, guys. There we go. A nice finished product. And hopefully that'll be the last of my uh, leaks. For a while, anyway. And there's the port side. At least now I got the right, uh, the right drain in there instead of a through hole. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Well, there it is, guys. Finished product. At least it's flush with the bottom of this groove. And the water will drain out on both sides. And hopefully that's got my leak. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Push that subscribe button. Tell your friends. We'll see you on the next video.